I used to get high, I used to be like, why am I doing this? But I was still doing it. I would continue doing it. Chris Ruiz grew up in New Jersey and became involved in drugs at an early age. By the time I was 17, I started smoking uh, crack, smoking crack cocaine. Once you're in that kind of lifestyle, it's everything else comes with it. Problems with the police, problems with other people on the streets. I accepted Christ in my life back in 94. That's when I first got to know and I first felt the Holy Spirit and first felt welcomed and embraced and I felt love and it was great. But since I wasn't like 100% in, I eventually just left. I said, I don't need this no more. I'm good and uh, got back into drugs. Still troubled by his addictions, Chris married a Peruvian woman in 2002. The romance provided some stability in his chaotic life, but the couple was separated when Glennie Ruiz wasn't allowed to return to the United States after a trip to her home country. Their marriage was now vulnerable. I come back waiting for my papers, three and a half years. I'm waiting, you know, the relationship was there, but it was very hard because we were separate. Of course, I'm still using drugs. A lot of the times it'd be a week that we don't speak. I gave up on it, to tell you the truth. I gave up on my marriage and my wife. Chris moved to Tacoma to live with his brother, but his drug use continued. I got thrown out of my brother's place and we couldn't get along, so I ended up on the streets. I just got deeper into the pit that I was in. You face a lot of fear when you're out on the streets because um, you don't know what's coming. You don't know where you're going to end up tomorrow. My mom always told me, whenever you're in trouble and you don't know where to go, go to the church. One time I got on the bus, I forgot where I was going, but I was on the bus, and I see a sign that says, The Crossing. Well, okay, go over there, and I was like, yeah, um, they told me to come, and you might be able to help me, I'm on the streets. I felt God there. I was like, this is cool, I like this, I remember this. They kept telling me, you know, you, you know, do you know Christ? And you know, I was like, yeah, I got to know him back in 94, I know what this is about. And so then he asked me, he said, do you want to reconcile with him? And then I thought about it, I was like, you know, yeah, I do. And I got Christian guidance, I got Jesus, and I got people to help me with that. Anytime I would pray and people would pray, it was for me and my marriage and my wife. And, you know, bring it back to me. Glennie was ready to move on with her life when she finally received her immigration papers after years of waiting. But coming to the United States required her to travel to her husband's location. She arrived in Tacoma in September of 2006. When I was here in one week, uh, he wrote me and he said, where are you? I said, I'm here in the United States. He said, where? And your brother's house. <laughs> I said, what? Did you live with my brother? She said, yeah. I'll be right there. She said, no, 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 I'll be right there. And then she started seeing a difference. But the way I think, the way my lifestyle was, everything's been different. He learned about God and he teach me about God. You know, so I feel like, okay, I want to change my life, like you change. Today, Chris and Glennie Ruiz share a new love for God and each other. And after years of drug abuse, Chris has a new life. I never felt that I meant anything. I was just an extra. Now I know I have a purpose, I know I mean something. Jesus Christ is, he's my savior, he died for me, that love, is something that I've needed. So now that I find it, it's overwhelming and I don't want to let it go.